Hi everyone, my name is Layla Parnian from Lavish Pour and I am here to teach you how to make pour art. So here's everything you need. A Sharpie to write your name and date on the back of the canvas. A 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. Eight Dixie cups, four you're gonna put under the canvas and four you're gonna use to mix paint. One pair of gloves for every painting you do. So here I'm gonna be doing two today. I'm gonna be using two pairs of gloves. Four jumbo craft sticks. A 16 ounce cup. This is what you do your pour, the flipping. Some sort of pouring medium. You can get this at an art store, craft store, Home Depot. And then I use four different colors of acrylic paint. Now you can use Apple Barrel brand or you can use the professional paint, which one here we're using golden fluid acrylics. And then the plastic tarp underneath it because it will get super messy. So what the setup will be, will be your canvas sitting on top of four Dixie cups. You're gonna sign your name and date on the back of the canvas, and then you're gonna place the canvas on top of the Dixie cup. Make sure the Dixie cups are sitting on the corner of the canvas. So now we're gonna start to mix the paints. We're gonna fill each Dixie cup with a third of the acrylic paint, and then you're gonna put it aside. So it's gonna look something like this. Once you have filled the four Dixie cups each with a different color of paint up to a third of the cup, we're gonna now fill the cups with the pouring medium. Now, I recommend not filling it all the way to the top because once you mix it, you're gonna realize that you needed a little bit of room for that popsicle stick to move around. So I leave about half an inch of space from the top. Once you've filled all four with the pouring medium and the paint, now we're gonna mix. I recommend mixing for about a minute per cup. And the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll get with making sure it's gotten mixed and maybe it'll take you less time. Maybe it'll take you more time, it doesn't matter. All we want to have happen is you don't wanna see any of that white. So right now we're seeing the blue and white. We don't wanna, we just wanna see blue. So you're gonna mix it until it becomes the color of whatever the acrylic paint is. Now, a lot of people ask me, what if I use white? Well, if you're using white and you're mixing it with some sort of pouring medium, definitely count to 60 seconds to make sure that it is actually properly mixed. So this is what we want it to look like. So you're gonna use a popsicle stick per Dixie cup. Don't use one color's popsicle stick, craft stick into another cup. Go ahead and get all the edges, make sure you're scraping the bottom. So here it is. All four colors have been mixed with the pouring medium in the Dixie cups. Once we're done with this step, we're going to take our main cup. This is the cup we're going to be filling the paint in and we're going to be doing the flip. So the rule of thumb is whatever color you pour in first technically will be coming out last. Does it always work that way? No. But that's why this form of art to me is so therapeutic because you really don't have control of how it's going to come out. You may think that you know, you're putting in one color and it's gonna be mostly that color, but as you start moving the canvas around, it changes, which is really cool. So 
So put in the color into the cup, and once you're done with that Dixie cup and the popsicle stick, just go ahead and put the stick in the cup, squeeze it together, and set it aside. And you could do that for each, each color. Once you have all four colors in there, you can let it sit in there for a minute or two, let the chemicals kind of react and do whatever they do inside the cup. As you watch the cup, it will eventually change. More colors will come uh, through to the top. And now we are ready to flip. So in order to flip, I usually take the paint in my dominant hand, which I'm right-handed, and then I'll hold the canvas in my left hand and I'll just place the canvas on top of the cup. And then when I'm ready, I'll flip it over and I will set it back down on the Dixie cups. Now when you lift it, if you just lift it and put the cup to the side, that's one way of doing it. I sometimes lift it and I'll kind of shake the uh, leftover paint that's in the cup left and right it kind of creates waves in the painting. I'll show you what I mean. So these waves that I'm doing, once it spreads, they expand. So what you wanna do now is pick up the canvas and it will get messy. You're gonna get paint all over your hands and just start moving the paint. This is seriously the best therapy ever. So I usually work the corners and the edges. But you have to be careful not to focus on just one corner or one edge and lose all of your paint and because uh, if all of it goes over one edge, you're not going to have enough paint to work the rest of the canvas. Just move it around. This is where you get to be creative. You know, if I want more of that blue here, I'm going to tilt the canvas this way so I can move it around. This is the last corner I'm working right now. And then this edge. you're gonna find that some of the corners may have not gotten paint I can't see this side right now but what you do do not smear it like this dab it take paint that's on the floor and just dab whatever corners you think you may, you may have missed and then when you can get up and look you'll see so let me check all my corners So that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna do all the same steps I just did on this canvas, but using the professional grade paint.
So I went ahead and I put all the colors that I mixed in here. Again, the only difference is I'm using the golden acrylic paints versus the apple barrel. But again, I'm gonna take the cup in my dominant hand, pick up the canvas with the other hand, flip. And then we're gonna lift, lift and shake a little. Remember, dab your corners or anywhere that you're missing paint. Let me check that side. Looks pretty good to me. So now you can see both painting same colors, two different brands of paint. The golden acrylics definitely has more of the cells that people like to get when they're doing the pour art versus the apple barrel brand but they're both absolutely beautiful fun quick easy pieces of art that you can make at home or with friends or whoever you like especially right now if you guys are in the quarantine great time to do this